Hi, this is Carlos Cousins. The following is a reading passage question that is asking us to identify um, whether or not four different statements about a passage are true. For this sort of question, what you want to do um, is really watch out for any mention of all four of those things. You kind of want to scan through the passage really quickly and try to uh, identify where these things would be. What is key here for this sort of um, passage, since it's not a prose passage and we have the luxury of doing so, uh, watch out for the topic sentences. Um, there, are, There's definitely um, a lot of indications here of what will be discussed in the rest of the passage that might help you guide yourself through a process. I've only included the part of the passage that is uh, key to solving this problem, but let's consider it. So here we're talking about uh, a crystalline crust being formed upon the surface that uh, uh, re rests upon a liquid mass, which constitutes the chief bulk of the globe. So the majority of the globe here um, is going to be liquid, but at the crust, we're going to have a little bit of, uh, of hard surface, right? The continents where we, where we live. Um, and then it says, um, if this were so, the solidification of such a molten mass would either commence at the center or a uniform refrigeration would proceed to the whole world would suddenly be consolidated. Um, but that is not what's going on. It is the general belief, it says right here, that the central portions of the earth still remain in a molten condition, while the habitable exterior is but a comparatively thin crust. So, if this belief is funded, the first solidified portions did not descend toward the center. You know, uh, and it also says, the newly solidified parts are less dense and float upon the liquid portions. So if we look at the answer choices here, uh, number one says, that solidified materials in the Earth's formation would possess superior density and would sink. That contradicts this sentence here, that um, in fact they would float. So one would be crossed out and, you know, immediately anything that includes one would have to be crossed out as well. Uh, An answer for, uh, answer choice four would have to be the answer choice. We'll consider the others in a second, but answer cho uh, choice four says that the Earth's crust is thin and its center is molten. That is exactly what is claimed here um, and what the passage then says is generally believed down here. That's why answer choice four is correct, um, and this is the right answer. But why not two and three? So two says, uh, the solidification of the earth would begin at the center. Well, it says here, um, a crystallization of the least fusible elements and simple compounds eventually took place in the superficial portions of the molten mass. So that's why um, answer choice two wouldn't be correct. And number three says, that a uniform refrigeration proceeded until the whole world was consolidated. Well, like we said, if we're saying that the majority of the um, globe is liquid mass, right, um, and we're saying that um, it is belief, it is believed that um, there is no solidified portion of the Earth in the center, then answer choice three cannot be correct. Answer choice four is the only correct answer here. Hope that that explanation helped with this passage, and happy prepping.